okay now let's see this question this question came in gate 2013 for two marks the question is the number of elements that can be sorted in theta log n time using heap sort is what okay so we know that heap sort running time is is theta n log n okay so but here they have flipped the question they have directly given the time itself that in uh, okay you can sort theta n log n elements in n time no, sorry you can sort n elements in theta n log n time so in order to sort n elements you get theta n log n time they have flipped the question and they are asking that okay let's say you were given only log n time you were given log n time then how many elements you can sort so the number of elements that can be sorted in theta log n time that is they are asking now uh, let's say this number is k so what i am saying that i don't know this number what num what it this number is there so let's say that this number is k then we know that for uh, for uh, sorting n number n n elements we take theta n log n time so for sorting k elements using heap sort we will definitely take k log k time isn't it we will take k theta k log k time okay and they have given the time so in essentially we are going to solve this equation that k log sorry essentially we are solving this equation k log k okay this is equal to theta log n so both are bounded by theta so you can move the theta one side because this essentially it is just a constant right okay so we have to solve this equation and find what is the value of k so one way is that you uh, properly solve this another way is that you can simply eliminate what are the what options cannot be there and you can simply Uh, choose the right answer from that side so let's say uh, uh, let's say the k is theta 1 so so k is what number of elements and they have given the options as number of elements only so basically they have given the value of k so if k is theta 1 which is constant if this is constant log k is also constant then overall value is going to be constant which is not theta log n and that's why definitely this uh, this cannot be the answer let's come back to uh, firstly let's see d so they are saying that okay it is uh, uh this k is theta uh, log n and if we put something like that then we we can see that this is going to be something like log n into log log n theta of this and we can clearly see that this is not equal to this isn't it because uh, obviously uh, this is you just cannot discard it this is multiplied into log n so log n into log log n it is there and, and it is simply theta see it is it is bounded by both sides you understand this is you cannot just see upper bound or simply lower bound it is bounded so it is theta log n they are saying so you just it, it should be exactly in the same bound so definitely these are not equal and that's why this is not the answer similarly you can see here also that if you do something like root log n into log of root log n so basically you are putting k the value of k as log n then this can be written as theta of this this can be written as something like okay so root log n into you can write it something like half into log log n basically okay now you can see that okay this theta log n can be written as theta of root log n into root log n isn't it so this is common now you have to see that whether the strict bound of this and strict bound is uh, of this is same which is not you can you can, you can safely say that uh, you can take log of both sides and you can say that when i take log of this then it is going to be like theta log log n because this uh, Uh, half will come outside, and it will be half times 
log 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 line. So it is going to be right side is going to be this, and left side if you take log of this, then it is going to be theta of log of log of log n. So definitely log of log of log n is not equal to log log n. So this is also not equal, and therefore you can say that this is also not the answer. So you can directly tick this answer because uh, this is. Uh, uh, a complicated example also so in that case if you try to uh, justify yourself with an uh, example like this then it might take some more time which i will do definitely in this video but strict uh, but strictly speaking in the exam you could have directly take this answer c but here i am going to explain you in detail that how this is going to be the answer so they are saying that the value of k if you put it something like uh, log n by log log n then you will get something like this overall bound is going to be theta log n let's check that definitely that should be correct because that is the only remaining option but let's check that so they are saying that k log k and we put the value of k as log n by log log n so let's put it put it here so the value is going to be log n by log log n okay times log of this so k log k was there remember k log k was there so log of log log n and they are saying that this should be if that is the only remaining answer this should come out to be theta of log n okay so let's check that whether it is happening or not so uh I, I have just removed the theta sign. I will not write it everywhere just for simplicity. So let's simplify this expression only. So you can see that uh, firstly you can write it as so let's keep it here log n by log log n and then you can split this so log of x y by x x by y divided by y can be written as log x minus log y. So I can write write something like log of upper term which is log log n minus log of lower term which is log of log of log n okay and now you multiply this term to both so this log n log log n and log log n will be cancelled so it will be log n only minus it will be log of log of log n divided by log of log n okay so this is log n let's keep it that only Let, what's let's talk about this what is this term see in order to uh, justify that what is the overall asymptotically its value we can consider that okay let x is equal to log log n then this can be written as basically log x divided by x and we have to find its limiting value we can say that what is the value limit x tends to infinity asymptotically what is the value of log x by x okay this is the uh, thing which we have to find now in uh, 12th class or something when you read calculus for the first time and you uh, study limits then you can uh, you might be remembering that we can do this simply by differentiating uh, top side and bottom side why because it is of uh, when x tends to infinity this denominator and when x tends to infinity this numerator both are going to be infinity so this is in the form of infinity by infinity so we can apply l opital's rule which says that simply differentiate uh, uh, numerator and denominator and then put it same limit to the same limit so it will be basically limit x tends to infinity and log x when you differentiate it comes out to be 1 by x and denominator x you differentiate you get 1 so basically you are getting limit x tends to infinity 1 upon x which is essentially 0 so this this entire term we can know that asymptotically it is going to 0 so overall this is basically theta of everything so it is going to be theta of only first term which is log n and which is exactly what we wanted here okay so now we can say that 
डेफिनेटली और आंसर इज सी